Hell yeah, Punchline. How you guys doing? What's going on? Uh, good time? Nice. Nice to see you guys. I'm in good spirits. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in love. That's pretty exciting. Huh? In love. I'm in the best relationship I've ever been in. That feels good to say. Uh, unfortunately, her parents uh, do not like me. Uh, but I am adopted. This has happened before. So <laughs> confident. Confident I can bounce back from this one. Let's see. No, it's going great. Uh, we recently hit our one-year anniversary. That was exciting. It's the longest relationship I've been in in a while. And I realize this is also the longest I've been off dating apps. Big step for me. Eight months off the dating apps. Feels good. Feel pretty optimistic. Uh, my girlfriend uh, gets catcalled. Not to brag. And recently we were out. We were on a walk. And the dude asked for my, girl's, my girlfriend's phone number right in front of me. And she was like, I'm with my boyfriend. This is my boyfriend. And he was like, cool, I'll take his number too. And uh, he has not called us, so I don't appreciate that <laughs> at all. It's real annoying. Cool, you guys are fun. My girlfriend actually just moved in together. That's a big step for me. It's pretty exciting. I've never lived with a partner before. It was a big step for me. Uh, I've got a lot of congratulations. It's weird to be congratulated because I can't afford to live alone. It's, yeah, yeah it was exciting. But I just like knew, I knew, I was like, I, you know, I've never lived with a partner before, but I could definitely see myself with her for like at least another 12 months. We signed a 12 month lease. And I think maybe after that, it'll be month to month. Uh, <laughs> play it by ear, see how it goes. We have separate bedrooms. I highly recommend that. That's awesome, separate bedrooms. Fuck with separate bedrooms, guys. It's nice, I can still feel kind of single, you know? I'll be going to bed by myself, text her. You up? What's going on? She comes over, we have sex afterwards, it's like, all right, you can go. Let's get this <laughs> over with. Now, actually, we, we seem to only have sex in her bedroom. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's because she doesn't like that I only have one pillow. No, I think that's a turn off. You know, pillow talk in my bedroom is just, who gets this pillow? That's how it goes. <laughs> I'm glad to be with her though. The, red, the one pillow thing was definitely like a big red flag when I was dating. Women did not like that. They'd be like, what kind of guy only has one pillow? I was like, I don't know, what kind of lady? Can't take a hint, please leave. <laughs> it's time to go. Yeah, I did a lot of dating before I met my girlfriend. So yeah, you learn your red flags. You learn your red flags. I remember being on a date and this woman, she told me that she thinks that watching porn is cheating politely disagree. I was like, if, that's, if watching porn is cheating, I cheated on you already on this date. I just... <laughs> that's why I took so long in the bathroom. I'm so sorry. I was like, man, if she feels that strongly about porn, she's definitely going to hate when I fuck other people. She's not going to like that <laughs> at all. She'll be a bad sport. I dated during the pandemic. That was a wild time to date. I don't... I don't recommend that. I remember on being on Tinder and this woman, her bio said, don't bother if you're one of those sheeple who wears a mask. And I was like, damn, this lady is definitely having unprotected sex with me. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know about COVID, but we're, we're gonna spread something. All right, I think that's how that's gonna go. Cool, that's fun. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Philly born and raised guys. Clap it up for Philly. Where are my Philly people at? Hell yeah. That's good. It's usually very few people. It's just a bunch of gentrifiers <laughs> pricing me out of my neighborhood. But I'm glad you guys are from Philly. People don't believe I'm from Philly. They don't, they're like, how come you don't talk like an Italian caveman? It's like, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's, here's my Philly move is what I do when I, when I eat a girl's ass. I, uh, I'll yell, back door, and that's my move. <laughs> It's the most Philly thing about me. I was recently traveling, I was in Minnesota, and somebody, I met someone, they were like, oh shit, you're from Philly? Do you know my friend? It's like Philly, city of 1.5 million people, no, I don't know your friend. But here's how crazy this is, here's how much of like a big, small town Philly is. A week later, their friend was on the news because they'd been murdered. Like, what are the odds? What are the odds of that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Now here's the real, actual, super Philly thing about me, is that I 
work for Wawa, right? That's so Philly. Yeah. So far, Wawa, the biggest reaction of the night for anyone. Bigger, bigger than all the comics. So people love Wawa. And uh, yeah, I, I work for Wawa during the day. I do comedy at night. And uh, I'm really just doing this until the Wawa thing works out. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, working work in retail, especially in Philly, is tough. Clap it up if you've ever worked in retail or customer service. You guys, yeah, good people. Uh, if you're not clapping, please tip. That's super important. Uh, but I think everyone should have to work a customer service job at some point in their life. It's very valuable. Like, like you should definitely have to work customer service uh, before you decide you're pro-life, right? That should be a thing. Because like, once you work customer service for a bit, you're like, Everybody doesn't need to be born, right? We don't, we don't need everybody. Everybody? It is, it's tough. People, people aren't feeling mean when you work in customer service. It's weird to be talked down to by someone wearing Looney Tunes pajamas, right? Like that's, I don't know. Philly's tough though. I have a coworker who has been stabbed twice at work. That's wild, that's. It's one of those situations like, stab me once, shame on you. <laughs> yeah. but this one, so he got, he got stabbed, and then if you get stabbed at work, they move you to another store. They treat you like you're like a priest or something. <laughs> and, and then he got stabbed at the new store too. <laughs> and the, I think the craziest part of this whole story is, that's not why he quit. <laughs> that's. Uh, I've been John Neary, guys. You've been a blast. Thanks a lot. Yeah.